Welcome to the 2021 Deer Creek Estates Year in Review. It's been a crazy year in a lot of ways, but a good year nonetheless. One of the first things that we did last year after our annual meeting was launch a Halloween decorating contest. That went over so well that we have decided to repeat it again. So this year, if you want to be included in the contest, make sure and let us know. Get out your ghouls and your goblins and decorate your whole house. We look forward to seeing it. Last year, we also had a Christmas lighting contest. We plan to repeat that as well this year. So deck the halls, get out your ladders and get out your lights. We look forward to seeing our whole neighborhood lit up for the holidays. We had a Christmas party last year, but because of COVID, we were concerned about having it indoors. Instead, we did a food drive. We had Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Kids could show up and take a picture with them if they wanted. And then people could drive by and donate canned goods. We collected over a thousand cans of produce that we delivered to local charities. It was awesome and it was much appreciated. Then it began to snow. And it snowed. And it snowed. And it snowed and it got cold and it got colder and our whole world froze the deer creek pond froze over who would have ever imagined you could walk out on the deer creek pond it was amazing seemed like it went on forever for me for the first time in my life i experienced negative one degrees for the record I stayed out in it for five minutes. <laughs> it was just a crazy time. Well, eventually things thawed out and we had an Easter party and it was fantastic. We had the Easter bunny, we had a bounce house, we had snacks, we had well over a hundred kids that showed up. It was just great to finally be outdoors again and enjoying life. It was a fun, fun time. And then came the egrets. Oh my, what a disaster. This is video I took with my drone. I feel so sorry for the families affected. Next year, we are going to work with the city of Crowley and we're gonna do everything in our power to hopefully make it so that this disaster never occurs again. In spite of these trials, your board continued to work for you. Over the years, as we have had new laws and new regulations and new restrictions, we have put up new signs each time to reflect whatever the new law was. Well, it ended up that we had a million different signs everywhere. This year, we took all of those down and we replace them all with signs that look uniform and reflect only the current laws and the current regulations. And it just looks so much better to have uniformity in those signs. We also replaced the trash cans. They were just old and rusted and looked bad. So we took them all out and put in all new trash cans for our community. Next, we added more sand to the volleyball courts. It's just a fact of life that over time, some of the sand gets washed away, some gets carried away on people's shoes, so we have to periodically bring in more sand. That's not cheap, but we got it taken care of. Then we repaired and replaced some of the playground equipment. It's just something that we have to do on a regular basis to keep everything in code and safe for our kids. We replaced the lighting around the clubhouse. And by we, I really mean Karen and her husband, Marion. Folks, for you who don't know, Karen and her husband do so much work around this neighborhood, around our community, completely unannounced, completely free of charge. I really don't think there's a week that goes by that they are not taking on some project for us. They do it completely free of charge. They do it completely unannounced. They have saved us so many thousands of dollars by the work that they do. We really owe them an entire debt of gratitude for everything that they do for us. We added doggy stations along the sidewalks. Speaking of the sidewalks, 
we took on two huge projects this year. We built the new sidewalk that connects the big loop over to the bridge that goes over the culvert and on over to the cul-de-sac. This is something we have talked about for years. It's something that was promised years ago and this year we finally got it done. This was a major undertaking. It took a lot of work and planning to make this happen. But now it's done. I can't tell you how many times I have seen neighbors walking across the bridge, having conversations with each other, enjoying the time that they can now walk the entire neighborhood and not have to go through the grass to get over the bridge and not have to go through the mud during watery times. This is something we are very proud of. Last and absolutely not least, we took on the redesign of the clubhouse. I realize this picture is getting blurry right now because I'm not good at making these kinds of videos. <laughs> but this is what the clubhouse looked like before. It was white. It was barren. The furniture was 30 years old. This is what it looks like now. Craig is the one who took this on. Craig is the one who did an amazing job. He chose the furniture. He chose the colors. He arranged for the contractors. He did everything. He really turned this clubhouse into what is now the talk of Crowley. Everyone who sees this clubhouse is envious of our neighborhood. We redid the landscaping as well. Doug met with contractors to get the sidewalk redone because it was sagging and holding water. Karen and Jen met with the landscaping people to pick out foliage and rocks that would save us thousands of dollars in watering bills going forward. It really all just turned out amazing. Well, folks, that's all we got done in the last year. <laughs> like I say, it was a crazy year, but a good year. It's our honor as a board to continue serving you, and we will continue doing everything we can to improve our community.